Mmm, let's add some tasty snacks to the game. And let's add custom food to Minecraft. Alright, we find ourselves back in IntelliJ once more, and in this tutorial, we're going to be adding custom food to Minecraft. Now, this is actually a fairly straightforward process. In the item package, we're going to need a new class called the Mod Food Components. So, in here, we're basically going to create all of the food that we need. And in order to, well, take a look at some of the vanilla stuff, what you're going to do is you're going to tab the Shift key twice, and we're going to put in Food Components. And what's very important is that we tick this box right here, include non-project items, and then we can see food components, net Minecraft item. So let's double click on this. And then we can see all of the food components, basically, that Minecraft vanilla has to offer. So for example, we could say, you know what? The thing I want to add is very similar to an apple. So I can, in theory, just copy this over, right? Copy it in here. Everything should be fine. I didn't get the P. That's fine. Public static final food component. Apple. So for us, it's going to be a grape. And then I'm going to say, you know what, like the hunger, it's going to be a little bit less. And then the saturation is also going to be a little bit less. But nonetheless, this is pretty much all that you need. Food component builder with a particular hunger, saturation level. And then don't forget to call the build right here. And you can also see some examples. For example, the chicken right here has the dot status effect method called. And it gets you the status effect hunger with a 30% chance of basically eating it. So here, once again, the vanilla examples are all listed here so there's basically no reason to ever be like well how do you do this for food all of this is here if you have something very special like for example you want the food to actually have the drinking sound this is something that also some people might want the issue there is that if i middle mouse button click on this you can see this is now a honey bottle item you actually need to make a custom item and overwrite the get use action method and call the use action drink. Then the sound event will fire. You can also overwrite the sound event method, get drink sound, get eat sound as well. But that is usually what you want to do if you wanted to basically drink this. So that you just make a custom class for that and overwrite this method. All right, so what are we doing with this mod food component? Well, in our mod items class, we're just going to copy over the lilac flower bulb and this is going to be the grape. And the same thing goes here, so grape. Now this is a normal item. However, after the group, we're going to call food and then say mod food components dot grape. And there you go. That is all that we need to do. Now, of course, this is still a normal item. So we still have to add the translation right here. So let's not forget that. There you go. And let's also just copy over the mithril ingot here, take in grape. And then the same thing goes here, a grape. And that would be it. Of course, we still need the texture as well. So let's copy over the texture. And all of this is, of course, once again available to you in the description below GitHub repository or individual gists. And that is all that we need to do to add the custom food. So let's taste if it works. All right, friends, that's in Minecraft. And as you can see, the grapes have been added to the game. So let's see. I can eat them and they restore exactly one bar of hunger. Exactly. If we go back here to the food components, you can see hunger. So this basically means half a hunger bar is one. So two would, of course, be exactly one hunger bar. And the saturation modifier is, of course, that which happens sort of in the background, which you don't really see. So this is how long you basically keep your hunger for in the background. So that is pretty cool, right? And that's actually how easy it can be to add a custom food item to Minecraft. And this would also conclude this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. So, yeah.